Hi everybody, this is the Long Lost Debbie, and take two. Uh, I, I just showed every, actually I showed nobody how to place the bands for this design, because I didn't have the camera on my cord, so I have to start over. Anyhow, I just grabbed some bands and just threw this on, and this is what came out, and I think it's really cute. So I called it Impulse, because it was an Impulse design. It's two full looms length, and this is what it looks like on my little less than six inch wrist. And it was inspired by, and I can't use that name because I've already used it, by uh, this awesome design. It's designed by Artist and Loom, Trish, and Sandy at Lila's Gigi. Some of you also know her as Gigi. Um, just did this tutorial, so make sure you check out um, Sandy's, what do you call this? YouTube. <laughs> YouTube page and check out this very, very clever, cute design. Now that's all classy colors and the one I did last night, which I only did a little piece of it because it was bedtime and I just wanted to see how it came out. I used these colors. I thought, now these colors kind of look cool together. So that's what I'm going to make my tutorial using these colors, but I'm going to be using the 300 count for the border because the 600 count looked too wimpy. And I, I don't like the white there, so I'm going to use black. And I'm going to place a bead on the bands that go out like one, two, there's like 11 on each side for two full loom lengths, so 22 beads. So let's try this again. I see the flashing red light means I'm on camera. <laughs> I'm not talking to nobody. Well, I'm talking to nobody, but you know what I mean. So that, of course, oops, it's going to be the, I guess it's a closure band, right? When you close up the design. And we're going to do this all the way up the loom. I don't often do like the whole border first and then the design. Usually the borders kind of integrated with the design as I go. Okay, now this is the band that will have the bead. And if I'm not mistaken, the bead should go here. So when you loop it over and it's on the other side, it's still on that side. I've made a mistake and had them in the, you know, I've put some in the middle before and then I, you have to go dig around for this stinking bead because <laughs> it's buried. Okay, so what we're gonna be doing, we're gonna be making this little, how many, one, two, eight sided, right? Octagon shape. Am I counting right? No, it's not quite because there, there's none there. Seven to gone. <laughs> Can there be a seventh side, seventh side shape? I guess. What do you call those things? Um, mm -hmm. Geometry, come back to me when it's a regular sided. Whatever. It'll come to me after I get off camera. I know some of you younger people are those whose memory is better like it's this, it's this. Anyways, pretty much this is it. Just go all the way up the loom doing the same thing over and over. I just don't know how my camera didn't go on or it went off or something. Because when I went to turn it off, it was already off. I'm like, hmm, that looks suspicious. I went back and checked. And it had like a split second of my beginning of the tutorial and then nothing. So, who knows? I know, I'm rambling. I'm sorry. <laughs> so, what's she talking about? So, anyhow. I think you've got the gist. 
and there are no beads required. I'm just seeing if it's going to look nice with a little bead, give it a little bit of bling. All right, I'll be back. Okay, the one thing is when you get to the end, it does, it is supposed to look like that if you're using, you know, two looms, um, two full looms. If you just use one loom, you can see here, it does come, I think, where you, yeah, this would be your, you know, double you'd cap around those two if it was just one loom's length. But with two, it's it ends there. Now, I was going to use the 600 count of these because I really, really like the color. And then the three, this is the 300 count equivalent. It's just not quite the same, but oh, I wish I had a you guys sitting next to me to help me make a pick because these are 300 count and it fills up nicely oh this uh. all right I'm just gonna go for it we're just gonna use the 300 count <laughs> so what you're going to do now is columns two and columns three you're just gonna single Row up each one all the way to these two pins right here. Okay. So I'm not going to do all this on camera, and I don't need to go off camera and finish it and come back because I mean it's kind of obvious what it's going to look like. Just do single chains. Ooh, a little far. Being sure to push them down to the next layer. Next and final layer. Are you kidding me, cat? Oh my word. My 16-year-old cat might not see her 17th year. Ugh. And you know, with cats and dogs in the house, guess what comes with picking all those up? Mm -hmm. Nasty little hairs. Oh, you... I didn't even cuss, did I? <laughs> I feel like it. <laughs> I'm going to have to go over there and pick up this, some of my aqua bands. So let's just pretend, you know, I've got all that finished. And I'm going to grab some of them right here. Lovely, lovely, lovely. Thank you, kitty cat. Her name's Sugar. She's really cute. She's really old. But she still acts like she's a young cat. She can jump and leap. Very agile. Okay. So, pretending that these two rows are all done, the next thing I'm going to do is from the these two center pins within each of these little something gongs. I don't know. They're not quite eight-sided. Anyways, you're going to make a sideways V, then cap it, and then do it on this side. Cap that as well. Then where this, you know, this band that's underneath here, these two pins, that's always where you're going to go diagonal down, diagonal up, diagonal down, diagonal up, and then cap each one. Look at that! <laughs> Two-handed. Two at once. So again, you're gonna, you know, do this all the way up the loom. I mean, honestly, I'm just, this is not 
No, just, it's not like trying to juggle. <laughs> I've tried juggling. Actually, when I was 13 and we first moved to the campground, my parents bought we had a young, like, hippie couple, and they were jugglers, and they tried to teach us kids how to juggle. Almost got it. That was like, what, a hundred years ago? <laughs> Anyways, I'm going off camera and getting all the rest of these bands placed after I go pick them up from over there. Sugar, you're lucky you're so cute. <laughs> and I'll be back. Okay, I'm back after that little escapade. And now these are staying over on this side. Kitty can't knock them over. So here we have the loaded loom. Turn it around. Put the cap on now. Right here. It's not too hard to design. I mean, there's a, going up the middle. There's a couple little like different things you have to do but it's not too bad. First thing we're going to do is um, loom the bands out from this cap back to their home pins and I should have mentioned it and um, most of the time whenever I do any design I always do a little sample piece but I found this design does work better if these here are um, 300, uh, 600 count. The design just lays a little better. But you might like it all, you know, more poofy with the 300 count. So maybe just, you know, make two or three lengths. Like, where is that little piece? I got, I, I, you know, just enough. It only takes a few minutes to make it this small and then you'll know. Okay, what is it doing? I just won't do this all the way up the loom. I'll probably just do enough of it and then show you the rest of the steps. Sometimes I wind up having so many little sections to splice together. It's one thing this camera doesn't have. It's a nice camera. The FC200 Panasonic Bridge Camera. I mean, it's a good quality for a bridge camera, but it doesn't, I don't, as far as I know, it doesn't have a pause function. But it's not too bad a deal, I just transfer the clips onto my computer, use whatever Windows, you know, built-in simple movie editor and just splice them together. So anyways, I think that's enough for now. So we're just, we'll pretend that I'm, I've got all these finished. Okay. So once you have all those finished, then you're going to come up here. This is where, it's just a little tiny bit difficult, but not too much. Okay, you take this one band and crisscross. Bring it to the adjacent pin, not to the home pin. Okay. And you know, just try to keep them from getting too twisted, especially if you use two-tone colors, but it's pretty easy to straighten out after. Now, we're to go all the way down under and grab that the band we had going this way across these two. Go under. And you want to be careful and make sure that eh, they should be a little you should, probably should use stretchier bands for this. But there's not uh, it's more about just being careful when you take it out. Mom. I'm on camera. Didn't order the food yet, did Yes, you? I did. You did? 
It's on its way. Yeah, I love you too. <laughs> it's got a friend over. They have to have dominoes. Okay, now these two bands here, they're a little, you know, stretched because of doing what we did with this band. But just find its end and pull it straight up. This one you will not do crisscross. <laughs> I think that's such a funny alert sound, bottle cap. Okay, so now you're back to this one where you will crisscross it. So it'll be alternating. The one, the two bands that you don't have to do this to, you do the crisscross. And once you do the crisscross, you reach all the way into there. See that? Grab that, bring it over, and then reach in there. If it does snap, it's it's um, pretty easy just to back off a little bit and then take off the bands and you know stick another one there. It's definitely an um, easy design if you do bust a band. So there's that. And be gentle with these two because they, they're a little bit more stretched out. So then we crisscross. Reach in and get the black band or whatever band you used. Do one more set of those, and then pretty much you just just loom up the border. I will get. I'll show you so you know. So again, now you're doing the crisscross. Reach down to get that band way down there, and then reach down to get the other half. Back and find the end of this band, bring it straight up. Okay, now we'll, we're going to pretend we're all the way to the end of the loom. And I mean, it's pretty, you know, simple. Just go up one side. And go up the other. Just follow it up. Do that one straight. Each one angles in. This one angles that way. I wonder if this was the one we we're supposed to put it on. Oh, well, we'll find out. Maybe she, I should advise her and fast forward to the end and make, see, <laughs> see if I made any mistakes. So we'll pretend that side's done. And that's all there is to it. It's pretty easy. Impulse. I like it. It just kind of came to me. I mean, the design just came to me, and the name just came to me. I didn't struggle very long, and I hardly even took any time to come up with the, these colors. Some days, sometimes they like it takes me like two days <laughs> of trial and error before I'm happy with my color. So like maybe I should just like grab some colors and just make the dang bracelet. You know, probably gonna look okay, but. Anyhow, I'll be back to take, you know, take off the loom, take the bracelet off the loom and see what we've created. Okay, now I'm at the point where I just 
need to take it off a little. So pull that one half out. Grab the other half. Definitely, you know, when you use two-tone bands, there's always a little fixing up. And the cuff bands, um, they always look much nicer if you take a second to um, kind of rearrange them. And I'll show you how to do that. I think it's interesting. Okay. Now, I've already pulled these out here, but you can see where I stopped. See how it's kind of, it's just not laying out nice. Just right here. So you either use like a, a toothpick, um, if your fingers are, it's hard, or just something like this. Kind of pulls them up. Get in between there, so grab underneath those two just like that. Or if you can with your fingers. So there's that part of straightening it out. And of course, you just want to snap these. Now, on this one, see, these are where the, the beads landed, you know, when I just loomed it. And on this side, I kind of slid them up kind of towards the center, so I'm going to have to play around with if I like them down on the edge or more kind of, you know, in that groove right there. And what you're going to want to try to do, if I can find one that's already that way, but these two should kind of come together right here. Sometimes it's a little hard. But the goal is to get them to look like, like that. See how nice and neat that looks? I'm not the best at getting things straightened out, but um, hopefully when I get it posted on Instagram, you'll see how pretty it looks. But there you have it. Definitely liked these bands better. I think I should have went with those. Oh, well. <laughs> Maybe I'll take it apart off camera and change it around. We'll see. But thank you so much for watching, and I look forward to seeing your renditions of Impulse on Instagram. Make sure to, you know, do the at Debs thing so it brings to my attention, and hashtag Impulse Bracelet. And of course, Feel free to follow me there and subscribe here on YouTube if you want to ever get a notice of my rare appearances lately. Um, thank you so much. Good night.